all I was. And I looked at the history, and it was just like only three sports I've won on the guy's side. It was like the main three. It was like football, basketball, baseball. And I was like, all right. I'm like, I'll just go and enjoy the show. And then when I heard my name called by JJ Watt, I was just like, like I think my, my jaw dropped. I was like, in, I was just in shock. I had no idea I was going to get it. And it was just really awesome surprise. It can't get much better than this. So you said, you researched it, you've seen the names on the list over the years. Yeah. Now your name is with that. What comes to mind? It's, it's crazy because there's a lot of, a lot of professionals on there. There's a lot of you know, NFL players, a lot of NBA players, MLB players. And I don't know if I'll be like the first Olympian or something. I don't know. It's just fun to, it's, it's cool to look at the names and just to be on there with them. It's, it's incredible. Come on, Mitch and I have I've talked about so many years when we thought there were worthy, you know, honorees in cross country or track and field that they were always going up against LeBron James yeah, or yeah. you know someone of that of that nature or whatever. What do you think this does just to give belief to any guy that's ever put on a pair of flats or trainers or spikes or whatever to be like, it can be done now. Colin Solomon has given us the blueprint to show us how to get it done. Yeah, I mean, I guess now it can be done. It's just, it's amazing. I hope it brings a lot of light to the sport of running cross country and track and hopefully it just brings a lot more energy and excitement and just a lot of people just motivating themselves. And, and I love this sport. It's everything I have and I will give everything to it. And it's amazing that, that this came out of it. Afterward, you shed a tear, mom shed a tear, <laughs> Dad shed a tear. It was an amazing moment. What was going through your mind? Well, I mean, I was, I was, I thought I was almost pretty sure who was gonna get it, and then I was just like, all right, like, I'm just gonna, like, it's fine. I'm not gonna be disappointed. And then when I got called, it was just total shock. And then like, I was in shock getting the award. When I came back down, it like started to come over me, like the realization. And I was just like, I was so proud of all the hard work that I put in. And I just, I couldn't hold it back. Colin, uh, I mean, obviously, if this had happened anywhere in the world, you would have been just as emotional, just as pleased, right? The fact that it's happening in your your home state, you know, mm -hmm. less than an hour drive from yeah. Newbury Park, California. Like, I mean, this is the type of stuff that like Hollywood scripts could be that could be written about because we're right in the backdrop of there too. Like, yeah. I mean, how powerful is the fact that this is happening in front of family and friends in your home state? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I have so much support here. I I know only my parents could make the event. But I'm sure that I would have a lot more people that would want to come because I have a lot, a lot of family here. I'm sure they would all want to come, and they're probably just freaking out right now. They're they're so funny. They're they go crazy about all my all sorts of Aaron and I stuff. So I can only imagine what they're saying right now. It's just it's awesome that, that it happened right here. So we mentioned you know, your former teammate Nico Young. We saw him win. Gatorade for track and for cross country. Mm -hmm. A phenomenal example for you as a person, as a teammate, as a leader. You turn around and do the exact same thing for your own program, your own friends, your own teammates. It's been awesome to see your growth over the years and how you count that, that success. So thank you very much for being a great ambassador for our sport, a great example. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.